everyone, today we're making a delicious Persian noodle soup called Ashirishte using one cup of lentils, half a cup of chickpeas, half a cup of pinto beans or red beans, one bunch of fresh green onions, one bunch of fresh parsley, one bunch of fresh cilantro, four cups of fresh spinach, two heads of garlic, two medium-sized onions, half a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of dried mint, half a pound of cash, 180 grams of Chengdu noodles, 1.5 teaspoons of turmeric, one fourth of a teaspoon pepper, and one teaspoon of sea salt. To get started, fry your cloves of garlic and onions in separate saucepans using four to five tablespoons of olive oil for each. To achieve crispy and golden cloves of garlic and onions, it's important to supervise at all times and stir on occasion. Next, add one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one fourth of a teaspoon black ground pepper, and half of your fried onions to your lentils that have been fully cooked in four cups of water on medium high heat. Later, add your fresh vegetables into the pot Chop your cilantro, parsley, and green onions so that each piece is about one to two centimeters long. Since spinach leaves are much more delicate, you want each piece to be one to two inches long. This Persian noodle soup, or asherishte, is intensely aromatic, amazingly delicious, nutrient-rich, and a wholesome meal by itself. It's a one-pot wonder that'll become your go-to recipe for a nourishing and tasty meal. This dish is similar to the Italian minestrone, but the base is made up of well-cooked herbs and greens rather than tomatoes. It's a sophisticated recipe that uses a long list of ingredients, creating a captivating taste that'll have you coming back for more. I'm going to let this cook on medium heat and move on to my mint sauce known as Nana Dog. In a saucepan, add 1 4 of a cup olive oil, 2 tablespoons of dried mint, and bring it to boil on a medium-low heat. Once it starts to sizzle, add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and keep stirring until it's well distributed. You want your dried mint powder to become fried and not burnt. It's important to supervise at all times and the frying process will take about four to five minutes. Once your dried mint powder has darkened a bit, it's time to take it off the heat. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of my mint sauce into the pot and keep the rest to decorate my dish. This mint sauce is a key step in intensifying the flavor of your Persian noodle soup. Some people like to add a teaspoon of dried fenugreek powder, but I think it's unnecessary. Meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button for us. The night before you plan to cook, soak your chickpeas and pinto beans in 4 cups of water and let it rest for 12 to 24 hours. I have cooked my beans and chickpeas in water separately on medium heat, which took about an hour. You definitely don't want to cook your beans and chickpeas with your lentils because lentils take about 15 minutes to become cooked. As you saw, I added my chickpeas and beans into the pot and now it's time for cash. Kashk is a range of dairy products used in cuisines of several Middle Eastern countries that's made from drained yogurt or drained sour milk by forming it and letting it dry. It can be made in a variety of forms including rolled into balls, sliced into strips, and formed into chunks. The kashk that I just poured in has already been dissolved in water and is ready for use. This can be purchased online or from Middle Eastern stores. Now it's time for some noodles. Add your Chengdu noodles into the pot and keep stirring so the noodles don't get stuck to the bottom of the pot. You may replace Chengdu noodles with any other kind of egg-free noodles. I'd like to mention that Kashk is a fermented yogurt product that's off-white in color, thick and of pouring consistency. 
It's more sour than yogurt or sour cream and has a fermented cheese-like flavor. If you don't like cash or don't have access to it, you can replace it with yogurt, sour cream, or creme fraiche. I'm gonna let this cook for 20 minutes and then add one teaspoon to one tablespoon of sea salt. You can skip this step if you're using highly salted noodles. As I mentioned earlier, you want to stir on occasion once you've added your noodles because you don't want them to get stuck to the bottom of the pot. The noodles I'm using take about 20 minutes to become cooked. To garnish my soup, I'm using some fried cloves of garlic, mint sauce, fried onions, and yogurt. As you can see, my Persian noodle soup or asherishta is ready to be served. The amazing nutrition potential of this soup lies in the variety of legumes and herbs. Legumes are an excellent source of protein, fiber, B vitamins, and several minerals. I'd like to serve this dish with some cash, yogurt, and slices of bread on the side. But of course, you can pair it up with anything that you prefer. The high fiber content of legumes help prevent a rapid rise of blood sugar and therefore are good for people with insulin resistance. Additionally, the herbs and greens further enhance the rich vitamin, mineral, and phytochemical profile of this wonderful Persian noodle soup. We've come to the end of another video. Please check out the description down below for all recipe details and product links. Don't forget to like the video and follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Flavorsome Kitchen. I wish you all a happy holiday season. See you in my next video. Take care.